Okay, I want to welcome everybody to Amanda and Ricky's wedding. It's a great union between the Hedstrom and Morris clans, and we get together and to become a single family. And I can't look at you, Amanda, because I'll start crying. I'm sending off the apple of my eye into a great family, and I, I really appreciate it. Goddamn right! <laughs> Ricky was funny coming from a household of uh, uh, sisters that have two young brothers almost immediately, and has been fishing, wrestling, fighting, and, and uh, even coaching some of them. Kyle, you and Rick, we need to do something about Sean's hair before too long. <laughs> But tomorrow is Father's Day, if I'm not wrong. And I, I want to thank my daughter for uh, giving me a great son-in-law for a gift for tomorrow. Thank you. at Glendive. We played softball together and we were roommates from day one to the bittersweet end of DCC life. Born like sisters to this world. Lyrics sang by Regina Spector, an artist Amanda introduced to me that she would play on repeat in our dorms until even I knew every word to every song. In college, you wouldn't find one of us without the other. <clears throat> we spent endless hours in our small dorm room playing up made-up games and laughing until our stomachs ached, occasionally pushing our bladders to the limit, potentially blurring the line of incontinence. <laughs> Never Amanda, of course. No. Uh, Amanda's been there for me f through all the good and bad times. I'm so fortunate to call her my best friend. She's the most loyal, caring, and beautiful person on the inside and out. <laughs> I also met Ricky in Glendive. We all hung out quite a bit at Dawson, being softball and baseball players. Amanda has had eyes for Ricky ever since we've known him. <laughs> I remember the summer she called me to tell me she was dating Ricky. Um, I've never seen her, or she was, you know, the happiest I'd ever heard her. Over the past six years, that happiness has blossomed into so much more. When you see Ricky, he puts a smile on your face, no matter your mood, and of course, his dimples do not help that at all. <laughs> you compliment each other so wonderfully that it's hard to imagine two people who would be better suited for each other than you guys. Well, maybe other than Marshall and Lily from How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> Their favorite show together, of course. Amanda, I know he'll take good care of you, my girl. And I couldn't be happier for you both. Thank you for having me as such a special part of your day. No, opposite, but you know. <laughs> so, here's to you, bromance, and to you, Ricky. I love you guys so much. What's up? I didn't have time for this out, so it's all my fault. It's not the internet. Okay. Alright, so, uh, my name's Kyle. Apparently, I'm the uh, best man. Is this a surprise to me? Too close? Not close enough? We're good? Okay. Alright, my name's Kyle. I'm the best man. Which uh, comes out a little bit of a surprise to me because I've really never been the best at anything. Uh, I just want to start by saying what an honor it is to be asked to be a part of this wedding. I think we all agree that Amanda, she looks very beautiful. <laughs> and Ricky's a pretty lucky guy. <laughs> I suppose Ricky doesn't look half bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you to uh, everyone who came for the uh, free booze and food. 
I'm pretty surprised how many people come out of the woodwork when things are free. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, Ricky and I have been through a lot. Um, you know, together from playing baseball as kids, uh, you know, teaching him how to fish. Uh, I must be a pretty good teacher because he kicks my butt almost every time we go. Uh, you know, we went to college together our first year, our home in the Glen Dive, and uh, boy, do we have some experiences. <laughs> All the way from, uh, you know, rolling a pickup, sitting in jail. <laughs> trying to accomplish school while playing baseball and uh, building beer towers. <laughs> trying to hunt and fish as, uh, you know, as much as possible as we could. And uh, driving home, you know, late nights on Fridays, we got done with night class to, uh, you know, about five hours to see our families for, you know, one or two days. Uh, we really didn't have an idea what, you know, what we were in for, you know. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, through all Woo! those experiences, one of my favorite memories with Ricky is when he took me elk hunting. And uh, the first time, whenever, pretty much we pretty much ever went elk hunting, uh, we went to a place where I, you know, I shot my first elk. And I'd tell you where it was, but he'd probably go western on me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, he hacked my butt off and uh, he helped me kill my first elk and experience my first pack out, which sucks. Bad. But uh, Danny was there to help us, <laughs> and he loved it too. <laughs> but uh, ultimately, you know, we made it out of our adventures and uh, alive, and are able to be here today. Uh, I'm very happy, and you know, once again honored to get to watch my best friend marry the love of his life, and uh, the best thing that's ever happened to him. So here's to the best cellmate. <laughs> I think a fishing buddy and friend a guy could ask for and a man who's put up with a lot of it. In the end, uh, she made Ricky the happiest guy in the world. So put your glasses up. Turkey and Amanda, I wish all your expectations for life and love exceed everything you imagine. I love you guys. Cheers, everybody. Well, if you look at these two here, 
they did a great job today. The maid of honor and the best man. <laughs> they really stepped up. So. And as, you know, and as far as Amanda, I mean, you looked at her today and she, you just thought, wow. Wow. And, and you know, the deal is, is she's, I mean, she's beautiful, but she's smart. And I think she has the, the willpower and the mental toughness to put up with Rick. <laughs> so, you know, and, and like Leanne said, we've known a lot of these groomsmen since they were little guys. And I know there's a lot of stories out there, and we haven't heard most of them. But I know at least in one circumstance, Kyle did literally save Rick's life. Yes. <laughs> so, Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Linda. I think there, there was a, yeah, there was an incident with, I think, yeah, that was their first experience with Rick was Amanda's car and a fire extinguisher. So, but we love you guys and we do want to thank everybody for coming and thank you. Let's party! Free drinks. 